What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're gonna be talking about the Fireclaw Druid. Also, Armageddon Druid, Bear Armageddon, if you wanna say whatever it all is. Um, this is going to be kind of a fun little test of that. I've done a little bit, and again, I kind of like it. Once again, there, there are some pieces I don't like quite as much, but once again, I am liking the, re the direction that the developers are going. I think they're doing a fantastic job. They are bringing builds from something I would never play, skills of something I would never play, to something that I'll play through the game with. I'll have a little bit of fun that I might use to farm around a little bit. Again, are these things all going to be replacing your Blizz Source and stuff like that? It doesn't seem likely for a majority of these builds, but they're getting a lot of stuff into a playable territory. So, we can go and look at this one first. Uh, how I'm running it, I've just got a little bit kind of in some dexterity and strength and then vitality, um, just to give myself a little bit of attack rating. I think you could very much run more attack rating stuff, maybe some more attack rating like small charms or grand charms or whatever you want for that to help it out, just to give you a slightly better chance to hit. Um, and then for the skills, I have just maxed fire claw, one into wear bear, one 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 all around, max max. I actually maxed Armageddon for this. I'm kind of playing more into the Armageddon fantasy rather than pushing more into like lycanthropy, though I am putting some points there. Um, and obviously we aren't going here because we're not really playing for the physical damage from wear bear. We're playing for this fire damage that we gain. Uh, from Fire Claws, which you can see is 12 to 13k, uh, and then our Armageddon damage as well. So, um, it's interesting. It's very interesting because, like I say, it does play different than another bear. And obviously, I don't have any summons now. You could do like a Heart of the Wolverine right here to get you some more attack rating. That'd be like nice. Also, you could just summon a grizzly bear to run around with you. So you can have like a bear and a bear. You can play around with whatever stuff you want. This is just kind of a way that I'm doing it. For gear right now, I've got Flickering Flame. This is just going to be your best. You get the resist fire, the minus enemy fire res, the plus three fire skills, um, a High Lord's, a phoenix, because you again get the minus enemy fire res, which is really nice. But also the redemption should be very helpful. Uh, Fortitude. I just put a plague in my main hand. I also had an eth steel driver I was using. I also was looking at reaper's toll. Um, you know, e botted could go there. Maybe you're running the six socket phase blade. There's a lot of things that you can run in these hands. I think a six socket and phase blade would honestly, with shales, would honestly be totally fine. Um, because again, we just want the speed uh, to hit really fast with fire claw. This is just kind of a fun little, I just put it in for no reason, but we have it here. So I don't really think it matters too much at this point. Maybe get some crushing blow or something so you can use that for bosses. Lang of Hands, Raven Frost, String of Ears, BK Ring, and just some Alders, and then some Shapeshifters. Now, this gear is probably better than what a lot of you guys will have, but again, I don't think you need half of this gear for this build to even be fine. I think you can run around, like I said, with a six socketed shaled phase blade, laying of hands, you can get a, you know, a duress or you can get a treachery or something on your armor and that'll be solid. You can get Raven lore, which should be pretty cheap. You can, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do and I think it'll still be perfectly fine. Don't worry about needing to only be in that area. Now, something slightly annoying is uh, Armageddon does only last for 12 seconds, but look at how good it is. Look at Armageddon actually doing some damage now. It's like, excuse me, who's that? Wild. So you do have to cast it a little bit more than I would like. That's because uh, Fissure is what adds the seconds per level to it. But that's not a um, synergy for uh, Fireclaw. But I didn't even have to attack those dudes. And my Armageddon just killed them. So Armageddon before did absolutely nothing. 
and was way more difficult and worthless. And now you have all of this additional on top of being able to fire off your own hits for your own damage. Instantly, instantly love it already. So I, I think fire, uh, I, I mean, fire claw druid right here. Again, is this the fastest, best killer I've ever seen? No, and especially as well because you are, oh, that's fun, we're stuck on him. You are going to be dealing with, uh, you know, fire immunes, and so when you are in the fire immune area, you're gonna need to, you know, kind of have some of that physical damage, and this is where having a more physical damage weapon would be helpful. Uh, that was a weird thing to get stuck on. Um, you know, you are gonna want more of that physical damage there, but pretty solid. Pretty solid right here. And yeah, you're just gonna kind of cast that Armageddon when you run up to a pack of mob, a group of mobs, and uh, then by the time you kill them all, all those mobs should be dead, and you can kind of go on to the next base. And this is, like I say, I just, I haven't seen Armageddon ever really have such an impact like I'm seeing right here, where it's actually following pretty quickly to, with the character. It actually catches up pretty quickly. The damage is nice. The amount that are falling is nice. The explosions are really good. Like the amount of uh, AOE that they kind of have on their exploding hits. This is this to me is how Armageddon was intended right here. I think they have captured the essence of what Armageddon was supposed to be. And they've done a very, very good job with that. Um, so I'm super impressed. I'm almost like, forget the fire attack, the fire claws. I mean, it's still nice. You do get a lot of good damage out of it. And again, if you have a nice weapon uh, or you can hit really fast, it can be solid. But I'm almost, almost like, I just want to keep stacking into Armageddon and just run plus elemental skills. Run some vol volcano as well, get that physical up. Uh, and just go like max, 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 and dump whatever into this, and just kind of let that run. I mean, let's see, let's see it as a full elemental. 